Hey guys, it's Mr. Mick, and I'm back again with another video. Uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, I hope you guys really like this one. I've just been busy with a lot of different stuff. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to be doing a building tutorial, uh, and we're going to be building the structure that you can see behind me, which is a castle keep. Um, it's supposed to be like a survival house. I've, uh, I came up with this design in a survival server, and I've built it in a couple servers since then. Um, but I really like this design. You know, I tried to go for like a really solid feel. I feel like this thing could really take a beating um, while still retaining a lot of detail and uh, uh, a lot of depth in each of the walls. I think it uh, came out pretty nicely. Um, so Ted, today I just wanted to show you how I built this. So maybe you can build it in your own worlds um, and uh, just, just show you guys uh, how to, how to how to make something like this. Uh, so basically, what you're going to want to do is you want to grab some cobblestone, some wood, uh, just to start. Uh, just get some of these materials. And uh, I designed this to be buildable in survival. Uh, it takes a little bit to gather all the materials required, but they're pretty easy to get. It's mostly just stone and wood and a little bit of iron. But um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So what you want to do to start out is you want to make almost like a circular type shape uh, by doing this. You want to take cobblestone and go one, two, three, four, five, diagonal one, one, two, three, four, five, diagonal one, one, two, three, four, five, diagonal one, one, two, three, four, five, diagonal one. So you got this kind of circular shape, more of like a, a rounded square, not really a circle, but it's good enough. So then you want to fill this in with uh, spruce wood planks. You can use any material from the floor. I just like using spruce wood with uh, the stone. I feel like they complement each other nicely. You can use any wood that you like. Uh, I just tend to use spruce wood myself. And then whichever side you want to put the door on, uh, you want to put spruce wood uh, on that side. I'm going to be using this side. You could put on any side you like. Um, next, we're going to be putting spruce logs, four high, on each of these corners. So you're going to count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to take your, uh, you want to take your stone bricks, and you want to build them up four high. Uh, this one is uh, the door side, so you're going to want to build. Uh, like just a full wall with a two block gap there for the door and then a s upside down stair right there in the middle. Uh, so then you have four high and then on each of these other walls you want to build kind of a uh, open rectangle and then just a two block uh, addition there in the middle and this, lo this leaves room for the windows. And then do that on each wall. Yeah. In survival this uh, only takes you, once you have all the materials gathered, it should only take you uh, 30 minutes to build if you have scaffolding, uh, which you're actually going to need a little bit later in the build, optionally, it's not you know, required, but it just helps. Um, next, what you want to do is you want to take your wooden stairs, your spruce wood stairs, and put them on each wooden pillar, like so. And then take your upside, or take your stone brick stairs, er, and put them underneath each window and also to either side of the door like this and then you want to grab some cobblestone walls and you want to put them in between each of these stairs or rather the stairs in between them and on top of those you would like or you need to put uh, spruce or whatever wood you're using uh, fences Once you have that done, you want to grab some torches, put them on top of each of these fences. Oops. A little bit sometimes. Oops. <laughs> Hope you guys like my shaders, by the way. I, uh, I, I quite like them. They add a little bit of depth of, uh, depth of field effect, but uh, I think they make the lighting look really nice. And they make water look amazing, not that you can see it right now. but. Uh, next, what you want to do is you want to grab some iron bars. Uh, these are pretty easy to craft, but just like making glass panes with iron, you get 16 of them. And then 
then you want to put them in each of these windows. Uh, next, what you want to do is you want to grab a trap door, put them on the tops and bottoms of each of these pillars, like so. stone brick stairs, put them on each side like so. Next, you want to take out your stone bricks and build them three high, and then one in the middle. So three high, one in the middle, three high, one in the middle. And you want to do this on every side. So the differences between the uh, walls and the door side are no longer present. Uh, the build is going to be completely symmetrical from here on out. Uh, you want to put your iron bars in each of these. And you want to take your trap doors and put them kind of like window panes on each of these. It really breaks up the monotony of this wall and uh, adds a little bit more depth and color. Uh, that's that's uh, honestly my number one building tip is you never want to have these like sheer walls that are just the same type of block repeating over and over. You always want to figure out ways to break it up uh, with some some of your uh, other color schemes in that build. Uh, and, and also, pre preferably, see if you can add some depth to the wall. It really looks nice. Uh, next, what you want to do is you want to make two wooden pillars. Each of these is going to be, I believe, three high. Yeah, that sounds right. And you want them to be facing up, so I just put a block there. You basically want it to be on the same block as this slab. And then you build them uh, three high. And you want to put uh, slabs on top of each of those. And you should be here. Next, what you want to do is you want to take your stone bricks and build two blocks on top of the middle of each of these walls. And then take out your spruce stairs or wood stairs, whichever one you're using, whichever wood you're using. And you want to put two on either side and one in the middle. All right, once you have that done, uh, we're almost done here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take out your stone bricks and you want to make them level with uh, these stairs and also these uh, slabs right here. And you want to make each of these five tall. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, what you want to do is you want to put one pillar here with the same process. You want it to be level. You want it to be level with each of these uh, slabs right here. And then I believe you only extend these up to four tall. So you want it to be one shorter than each of these walls. And you want to put one stone. Oh, okay, I've this one up. You're going to put one stone brick on top of each of those. 
almost done. Uh, you want to take out your trapdoors and put them on the top of each of these Oops. pillars. Once you have that done, you break out your stone brick stairs, and you just want to wrap these uh, this kind of around. This is going to help make our battlements, and it's going to make the uh, top of the, the tower really look like a castle. Uh, my friends have uh, affectionately taken to calling this style of uh, build, this build that I do, uh, the Rook, because it kind of looks like a, a chess piece that's known as the Rook. Uh, you guys will maybe know what I'm talking about when I'm done, or you can already see it over there. And then I just like to fill this in with wood, but I leave one gap in the middle, uh, and you'll see why in a little bit. Then I take uh, stone bricks, and I put them alternating, like so. So one on each end and one in the middle of each of these walls. Take out my spruce slabs and put them in the spaces in between. Take out my torches and I put them on top of each of these uh, stone bricks. Uh, stone brick blocks. This really helps light up the top, keeps mobs from spawning. You wouldn't want, you wouldn't want a creeper to spawn on top of your house. <laughs> um, now, what we want to do is we want to take out our trapdoors. Oh yeah, sorry, not trapdoors. You want signs. This is actually the, one of the costlier parts of the build. Uh, I was actually amazed by how much wood uh, it takes to get signs compared to how many you actually get in the crafting recipe. It's like six planks and a stick for three signs. So uh, there's 44 signs that you use in total. Totally useless, even though you don't have any text on them. But uh, you, you'll see in a second, it really adds detail to the build. Uh, you just want to put uh, them on each side like so, and you don't want to type any text on them. I mean, you can if you want, but I'm just using them for detail purposes. Uh, so there's 44 signs in total because there's 11 on each side, and you want to put them in those three spots specifically. So five on the bottom right here where there's like this strip of uh, just uh, stone bricks. Then you want to put three here and three here. And you want to do that on all sides. Oh, you can also put like a sign here that says like your name's house. Uh, I'm just going to put the rook. And there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, this is like the completed like shell. Uh, I'll show you where I, I like to put the floors. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put uh, one floor right here. Uh, I like this, uh, this build has four floors in total the way that I do it. You can add more or less if you want. You can just make this one big room with a spiral staircase up to the top if you want. But I like doing this because I think it really adds, um, I like having floors that are, uh, three, like each floor is like three blocks high. I really like that. I want to leave a hole in the middle. You'll see why in a second. And my next floor goes level with each, uh, at the bottom of each of these logs. I also leave a gap in the middle, and then I take out some scaffolding. I know, unconventional vertical transportation choice, right? But it works really nicely, especially in survival. Oh, still need to go some more. Uh, it works really nicely. It's a space-conscious method of getting up and down. I might have overshot that one. Yeah, so it's a space conscious method of getting up and down. It's a lot easier and more streamlined than a ladder. With a ladder, you have to make like, oh, a ladder right here, and then this wall is narrower, so it has to go like, oh, like right here, but then there's like a block there. It's just messy. Or you can do a ladder in the middle, and then like one of these has to have a block. So I just like using scaffolding. Uh, if you don't have access to bamboo, you can always do like stairs or another method, but I just like using scaffolding. Um, and that's, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the build. Um, just making like the uh, just the shell of it, I guess. But I'm going to show you the completed model I have over here. This is the layout that I like to use in survival. Uh, so I, I like to put banners. This one is like four people living in it. You can have four people living in one of these builds pretty comfortably. I've done it before uh, 
and survival. And like each of these people is like a different color, and I just put their banners um, on these spots. So I like to put one banner here, one banner here, and one in the middle, right there. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you how I do the interiors. I'm just gonna my inventory really quick. So yeah, this is my first floor. I like to put carpet on the floor. You don't need to. Uh, I just find it makes it, you know, less of a boring floor. Uh, and then I've got two armor stands by the door, and I like to put item frames behind the armor stands that have like, so this is the armor, and then this is like the weapon, and then this is like the shield, just so it's all right there in one spot. Um, chests here, crafting table, lantern, 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 I've got a loom to make banners, three smokers, three blast furnaces, three furnaces, uh, this is a smithing table, I think, right? Is it? I don't know, I think it's a smithing table. Yeah, smithing table. And then an anvil, three barrels up here, brewing stand with a uh, water source block right there, so you can fill up bottles. I don't like cauldrons; they don't they don't do very much <laughs> um, as of right now. I hope they fix that. But yeah, so I just use a water source block underneath this upside down stair. I've got a chest right here. Uh, you can use that for holding potion ingredients, or maybe use this one for holding potion ingredients. Store your potions elsewhere. This is a grind. Make the storage potions here. This is a grindstone for disenchanting items. Stone cutter. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the first floor. Oh yeah, uh, clock right here. Totally optional. I just like having clocks in my builds. It's nice. Um, next floor is the bedroom. And like I said, this can sleep four people very easily. Uh, and we have four beds. Each one has their own personal chest for personal items. And then three barrels of storage up above. We've got lanterns on each corner lighting the room. And I've got four utility blocks uh, in each corner. So I've got a, an enchanting table with no books. Uh, there's no bookshelves. Um, so probably not like the optimal place to put an enchanting table, but if you just have to have it, this is a place to put it. You can make this whole room an enchanting room if you really wanted to. Uh, I just made it a four person bedroom. If you are living in this thing solo, you could very easily make this into an enchanting room and just have like your bed in the corner or something like that. Um, then I have a cartography table, a jukebox, and a lodestone. So you don't get lost or you don't lose this house if you're venturing out exploring in survival. Um, next we have, the storage room. So you can make the, uh, these wood uh, block slabs if you want and have it three high. Um, I find it's most of the time fine doing just two high. And this is the chest design I like to use for a three by two space. It gives you a nice breakup, looks nice, and you can have like, you know, this could be like your cobblestone storage and this could be like something you have less of. So maybe like wood or this could be like you can just make it whatever you want and I think that this storage solution really works well for me in survival and uh, and you can always add more storage if you like elsewhere with this uh, this is just the storage setup I have and no carpet down here because if you want to place signs on each of these chests to label what they are uh, you can put them on the on the chest or you can put them up here just label each chest um, and then up here I usually actually don't do anything with the roofs on these things when I build them in survival I usually just leave it empty it's kind of like a lookout tower uh, like a just like a viewpoint but i figured if you want to do something up here you can my friends actually put an enchanting table with books up here it was kind of lopsided because you couldn't put it in the middle otherwise you block your scaffolding but he's done it and uh, it, it works um but yeah so what i did is i figured you know this is like your battlements you could like arch from up or uh, you could like you know use a bow and arrow from up here so these chests each have like bows and arrows in them and then these uh armor sets are for each of the four members uh, that can live in the base. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want with each of these fours. You by no means have to follow what I've done. I'd just like to show you guys how I use this build in survival, and you guys can uh, do the same if you'd like. But yeah, so this has been my keep slash rook <laughs> house tutorial. Uh, I really hope you guys liked it. And if you did, as always, be sure to leave a like, comment. If you like the video a lot, uh, subscribe. Uh, leave, let me know in the comments if you guys want any more building tutorials or any more command block tutorials I think you guys would like me to build uh, and uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day don't forget uh, to stay safe out there you know it's pretty dangerous with the pandemic and all but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace out <laughs>